Hello, my name is John Pop. I'm a gallery facilitator here at the Fleet Science Center. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is kind of fun to play with, I think, isn't it? Yeah. There's two simple ideas going involved in, in this thing. What one of that's called the Bernoulli principle. One what do you think is going on? Tell me what you, you observe about this so far yourself. Air is pushing the ball. Yeah, the air is pushing the ball which which, which way, obviously. Well, yeah. Overcoming its own weight, right? In fact, you could even push down a little bit, and, and it'll still overcome that force too. It's like adding to the weight. Now, the other thing that's interesting is that it's stable. It doesn't, if it moves a little bit to the side or whatever, it always comes back towards the center. Poke it a little bit for one way or another and, and see if, if what I'm saying is not true, right? Yes. So, why does it do that? Do you have an idea? Some air wants to like push it back here. Yeah. Near the center, where it's moving quickly, it creates lower pressure. A higher pressure is this way, pushes it back again. What's going on is somewhat the same. It's, it's part of the same idea that explains why an airplane flies, why there's lift on a wing when it's moving through the air. The faster moving air creates low pressure, higher pressure in the bottom lifts. It's like, let, me, let me show you that another way, if you like. Um, imagine that this is a wing of an airplane or something that we want to... Um, See what happens when air flows over it. If I blow across this, what do you think is going to happen to the paper? The paper's going to go up. Good guess, yeah. So when the air flows over this way, it creates a low pressure, and the pressure that's always around, that's underneath the paper, lifts it up. That's what's going on with the ball, too. That's called the Bernoulli principle.